I'm glad to see you got the email about the leather. I know. That's we're I'm matching. Look at those it's, a, it's a good look. Um, so, what is it that's been exciting for you about British independent film this year? Because obviously we've been through a tumultuous time with lockdown, mm. then the actors' strike. What, what, is it, what is it that you find exciting about film? God, I think for me is what I realise is I'm always like so profoundly moved by independent film, and I feel like. It's because the stories are always originating more, more often than not from a very personal place from the people who are creating it, you know, and it's, they're always kind of passion projects that don't necessarily have the funding or the time, but somehow they, they make it through. Um, so yeah, I think that's what's special to me about independent film. And do you think we're getting better at writing stories which uh, represent people more fairly on screen? I would say so, absolutely. I feel like when you watch the, when I think of the films that I've watched this year, I do, I really, really do, yeah. And um, when it comes to these awards, which, which of the films have you seen and do you have any favourites? All of Us Strangers, yeah. I watched that last week and I feel like I'm still coming down from it. Like to me, I want to be moved, you know, when I, when I watch something and that moved me in a way that was not... I was not quite ready for, you know, I thought it was sublime, I thought the cast was sublime, I think Andrew Haig is just a wonder. Um, so yeah, I would say that's the film for me that is um, really at the forefront of my mind. And as an actor, when these films become so personal, do you think it's possible to fall in love with a character or a story so much that it actually makes you a better person at the end of it? I think so. I mean, I feel like they, these films act as mirrors, you know? I feel like they make you, you, you think of your own life and, and, and how you relate to them. And it, I think it makes you evaluate things, it makes you question things, and it makes you, it makes you feel, it reminds you that you're human and actually we all experience these things, we're not so alone. Um, so yeah, I would say so. Yeah. And um, now the strike's over, what do you have coming up that you can tell us about? Well, I... Have the end. We start from coming out in January. Um, I did a film uh, called The Bike Riders with Jeff Nichols, which is out in April. Um, yeah, he's the best. Um, but as for like work next, my diary is pretty empty right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what comes up. But yeah, hopefully something great very soon. I'm sure it won't be empty for, empty for long. So thank you so much for <laughs> thank speaking you so to us. Much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.